Former Congressman George Santos announced he's running for Congress again, just four months after he was expelled. The House gave him the boot for lying about nearly every aspect of his life and, according to a House Ethics Committee report, stealing money from his campaign and creating fictitious loans to solicit even more campaign donations. But Santos isn't running for his old seat in New York's 3rd Congressional District, just east of Queens. He's running in New York's 1st Congressional District to challenge the Republican who led the charge to oust him, Representative Nick LaLota. Santos posted on X, Tonight, I want to announce that I will be returning to the arena of politics and challenging Nick for the battle over New York 1. I look forward to debating him on the issues and on his weak record as a Republican. The fight for our majority is imperative for the survival of the country. George Santos is one of the most bizarre people I have ever met. I think much of what George Santos does is not serious, um, but we're going to take it seriously. I suspect this primary campaign, this primary challenge from Santos is retaliation for that. Santos can run again, even though he was expelled and is currently facing 23 federal charges for which he's scheduled to stand trial in September. The Constitution has three requirements to run for office, including being 25 years old and being a citizen for at least seven years. He can also change districts. The Constitution only requires the candidates live in the state they want to represent, not the district. It's also worth noting that FEC rules allow him to pay himself at the rate of $87,000 a year while he's a candidate. It's called a candidate salary, and it's meant to help low- to middle-income Americans run for political office. There are some other calculations that factor in which may reduce the amount, and he'll have to reduce his candidate's salary for every dollar he makes in outside income. However unlikely a victory may appear, the House could theoretically kick him out again if he wins. But he'd have to commit another crime separate from those he's already accused of. Lawmakers may call him a, quote, serial fraudster, but they won't submit him to double jeopardy. Straight from D.C., I'm Ray Bogan.